Welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up With Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P, a.k.a. Kia the Crafter. Pretty girl crafting over here, girls. Yes, so we are here today with another resin project. So, if you guys caught that luxury set that I made and posted, well, when I posted that luxury set, I got an order for three, three of them. So... We're going to go ahead and get started on another luxury set. Different color, maybe a little, um, we have one extra new item that we're going to add in here. And so, yeah, we're going to get started with that. But before we do, real quick, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Yes, hit it right there below. Go ahead and give me some thumbs up if you like the videos and the content that I'm providing for you. And go ahead and hit the notification bell I think it's somewhere up here I don't know go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you could be notified when we upload brand new content which we always doing some new stuff right so without no more further ado we're gonna go ahead and take you down I'm up here trying to get these lights fairy lights unstrung so we're gonna take you down so we can get started okay all right all right all right taking you down to my table get our camera in focus here Hope everyone had a good holiday. This is like Thanksgiving weekend, but we're past Thanksgiving. It is actually my Saturday, right? My husband's sounds is going on outside. He had to work today. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get up and I'm going to do fill some of these orders that we have. So if you guys caught that luxury set, video that I did we're gonna do another one but this set is gonna be just a smidgen different um different color and uh we're gonna add instead of um a little jar we're gonna add something else to it um for the customer right so I posted it that's why I say make sure that you guys I will be doing a video on branding and all of that good stuff on how to um, just kind of take your projects and things to the next level. That video will be coming real soon. Hopefully, I can get that done this weekend and go ahead and post that because not only do I want to provide crafts and ideas and things like that, new things that is out with resin molds and whatnot, but I also want to help you be... Um, a successful entrepreneur with your work if that is the direction of which you are seeking to go in um, me personally I don't uh, why create things and not sell them like that yeah so that's what I do I create and I sell and so I will be doing a video on that coming up here real real soon so I have some good things coming for December make sure you guys go ahead and hit that notification bell and uh yeah so that you can be notified when i upload all these great videos ideas tips and all of that good stuff okay so what i'm doing right now because you know my light my trays i like for them to light up not only just be functional but to be cute and you be as functional as possible we can get the most out of it so I like to put fairy lights in, and that's what I'm doing here. Most times I have usually already have the lights in there, but for this particular video, I'm going to show y'all how I put them in, and I just press them down, uh, straighten the strand out, and make sure I press them all the way down into the lip of the rolling tray. This is a rolling tray mode is what they call it. I use it as a vanity tray. You can use it as a home tray. Any tr kind of tray you want to use it for, it works amazing for that. Um, so we're going to get this all the way around, get the lights pressed down in the mold. Real good, nice and secure. And then that is that. 
Next, I already have 16 ounces of resin poured and mixed. I'm letting it sit while I talk to you guys. As you can see, the bubbles is already sitting on top, so we're gonna knock some of that out. I have my resin uh, tray here, the rolling tray. We have the tissue box mold over here. Let me move it just a little bit so you can kind of get a glimpse of everything we have on the table. So I have my uh, tissue box tray mold here with the lid. We have a trinket box um, with the lid as well. I have the lotion dispenser or soap dispenser with its lid as well. And then this is the new one. This is going to be a brush holder for um, her makeup brushes or two brushes or pencils or whatever she wants to use that for instead of the jar. The little jar really don't have a lot of functionality to it as far as um, being in a set. So we're gonna go ahead and use the little small um, brush holder or pen holder or whatever you call it. Okay, so we have all of that ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and knock out We're gonna go ahead and knock out some of the bubbles that is in the in the resin before we get go ahead and start mixing it. And I'm just getting my pouring everything together here so I can plug up my little heater because that's what I like to use as um, to get the bubbles out. So I have my little heater here. And this is kind of the only thing I really like use this for because it blows, um, it blows the resin a little bit. And when I say it blows it, I'm gonna show you. See how it blows it and moves the resin. So I don't use it other than to kind of knock the bubbles out after the resin has been sitting for a minute. And so that's really all I use that for. Some people use it, um, to get the bubbles out once you pour it but i find letting it sit for a little bit letting the bubbles come up a little bit will get some of that out of there okay so she wants three sets yes three i charge 65 a set i know that's probably not enough but that's what we're charging so far and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer half of this into my one cup here. Just so I'm not mixing everything at one time with the colors. And um, this will be our first little color that we're going to mix. Which this one will be, the and she wants a... She wants a pink, um, rose pink color. So for the shimmer, I'm going to use this pink light, well, it's not, yeah, it's like a light pink, uh, big chunky glitter. Um, got these on sale yesterday at Michael's. They were buy one, get one half off. This big one was nine bucks and, um, I bought two. So I got this one and then I got, um, a gold one and so I want to put the chunky glitter in here and I'm gonna be generous with it because I want it to sparkle girls like sparkles so I'm gonna put that in there and we're gonna stir that in see what it comes up with and I definitely want this to be around the lip of the tray to give it that sparkle that's pretty. I might have put a little bit too much, but I'm going to go ahead and start this in really, really good. That's pretty. I'm going to put a little bit more clear just to kind of round that out just a little bit. Yeah, that chunky glitter is gorgeous. 
but this will just be half just so you can have a little sparkle I think that is so pretty a little bit more than what I wanted but that is okay and so what I'm going to do, like I said, I want to go ahead and make sure that I am filling the lip of the tray with the glitter. And then I'll come back and I'll swoop all of this out. So that's how we go do that. And so for here, I'm just going to swoop all of the glitter to the edges. Because again, I just want it in the lip of the tray. So you just have to be a little bit tedious in your cleanup and that's okay because we all know that resin is messy I want I said that I did not want to get speaking of messy and this is just where this came from I was thinking about um I didn't want some people always asking me do you why you don't do the cups and I was like because they are just like super messy but I seen of one of my students uh, came to class with a cup a tumbler and it was just so cute and I was like you know what I might have to like break down and start doing some cups here in a second because I don't know I, I want one I don't want to spend I don't want to pay for one uh, personally I if, especially when I when you work with resin like you you just don't want to pay I don't for something that you can make yourself um especially being a crafter you be like oh i kind of want to do it myself and so yeah now i'm like thinking that maybe i want to try a tumbler or two and just kind of see you know how that turns out um i already have the heater so the tumbler is not expensive i think i can i've seen them for like 25 dollars 24 bucks for the turner and i'm just cleaning up my glitter because again i don't want this to um be in the the main part of the tray this is going to be like a um pink color Just trying to get all of this excess out so that it's nice and clean and then there's no glitter flakes anywhere okay I think that's probably as good as I'm gonna get it which is quite clean Make sure we keep everything in focus okay so I'm going to stir it up a little bit more and then from here I'm going to do part of 
the trinket box. Then I'm gonna do part of the tissue box. Then we have the lotion dispenser right here. Then our brush holder. And what I've noticed with these dispensers, the lotion dispenser, this is considered it's if it, it's considered a deep pour because it gets really, really hot when it is um and i'm gonna need a little bit more in here because i need to do my top um it's a deep pour okay so that's the so you can control it a little bit I really like this pink glitter. I'm a, I know that I'm going to go back and get some more before the sale ends. Um, again, that's Michael's. Right now, they have it where you can buy one and get the other one half off. Pretty, um, and then this is the top, and I'm gonna fill the top completely so that will be completely done and ready to go. Top to the lotion dispenser go ahead and fill that up and then all I have to do is come back with my color and fill up everything else so I'm gonna get the last little bit out of here Make sure I clean my glitter out because I don't want it to be messy and be stuck with glitter in it the whole entire time. I just bought these cups, so I'm going to try to keep them as neat and clean as I possibly can. And working with glitter like it. It gets everywhere and if you don't clean it it'll stay stuck in your cups forever <laughs> so, and I definitely don't want that all right and sweep that over you want everything to be neat all right so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up real quick and then we'll come back and start with our color hold tight all right, so I poured an additional eight ounces of resin in here, and then this is the color pink that we are going to use. It's like a blush pink. That's what she said, like a rose pink. So this is a rose pink. And we're going to use this. I'm going to be generous with the mica powder because this is a big pour. 
And remember, when we stir in our mica powder, you're going to push down and stir in. Push the powder down because if not, it'll, it'll fly back out on you. And this is a pearl soft baby pink. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. This is a real pretty pearl pink color. I'm gonna stir this up real good. Get that mica powder mixed in there well. And this is a real like transparent kind of uh, pink. So I'm gonna put a little bit more mica powder in here to just kind of make sure that the color is vibrant. Put two more little, just make sure that the color is vibrant. This is going to be so cute. I can't wait. I just want to make sure you get that mica powder stirred in there real good. what I'm looking for right there all right so I'm gonna start nice and tall up top and add this to the tray y'all I'm loving this and we just gonna fill it right on top And because this is so small, we're going to go ahead and fill the little trinket box. So little. Come back and fill up our brush holder. Are big pours I just don't like to do it all at one time um, because I've never done uh -oh, I've never done a pour um, that large at one time and I kind of like to control my resin so I break my pour down into um, segments like you have some saw me do just so I can make sure that everything is mixed well um make sure everything is mixed well in here so i'm gonna need approximately these are big pores again because you you're doing quite a few items at a time and you want to make sure that the colors and everything is matching and so I'm just using up everything in this And then 
we got to probably do, I'm going to say anywhere from 8 to 12 more ounces. So, total, to finish out the um, tissue box and the uh, lotion dispenser. Which is fine, because that will give that more time to kind of sit. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to clean this out. I'm going to pour about 10 more ounces. Yeah, about 10 more ounces. And see if that's enough to complete this set. So, I'm just cleaning this cup out. Y'all, this is going to be so pretty. So I'm going to do five and five. using our America's Best Epoxy Resin. Y'all know that's my fave. It's affordable because ain't no way I could do um, these big pours and stuff like this with any other resin brand because the price. Get this stirred up real quick. This is looking so pretty already. I'm excited. It's like you don't really get to see everything until it is completed. So I'm excited. like do my resin off camera but I didn't have time to stop it and we just going to stir this on up real quick so so far again I started out with 16 ounces I did another eight which gives us 24 total and then I did 10 so this is a total of 34 ounces so far i have not even did the top oh my gosh really and that's all right i'll just pour a little bit to do the top while what oh yeah the frame for the okay so I had to make this little frame for my tissue box to keep the shape in point on point so I'll set that on there and this is just kind of make sure that the box stay nice and square This is our 10 ounces of resin. I feel this heating up. So we're gonna go ahead and put our color in here. So we can get these last two items poured. bubbles but when I 
I say this torch do not be playing. And I just got to always keep this one moving because, like I said, this torch do not play. And I'm just knocking these bubbles out. Okay, and then for these deep pores, that is when I will use my heat gun for this tissue box to kind of get any bubbles that sit on top because it's deep in there and this heat will get down in there. going to go ahead and stir our mica powder in so we can finish this up. This pink is so ready. I've never used it by itself. I've always mixed it with a darker pink or shades of pink but this is pretty by itself okay we got that mixed up good mix it just a little bit more with resin you just kind of hope everything comes out okay so I'm gonna start up top and I'm gonna pour from up top and just feel that right on up let me go ahead and put my little lid together forgot about my little lid over here that's okay I'm probably gonna need a little bit more resin and that's going to be okay too. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up my um, so these are we are already at like 34 I think that's what I said yeah 34 ounces we probably just going to need another 6 so roughly like I said for about 40 ounces to do this set and that's a big pour because yeah we still need more make sure we get everything out I'm gonna pour about eight no I only need about six I'm sure it's probably six more ounces will get us where we need to be. I could pour eight, but I don't really want to go over. So, we're going to pour six more. Six more. And we should be done. So, hold tight. All right, so we are back. I got the six ounces here. It is mixed with our color. We're going to go ahead and finish out our box here and that should do it yeah that did it that did it so 40 ounces 40 ounces to complete 
what is this, a four piece, five piece set, four piece set, tray, tissue box, trinket box, yeah, five piece, five pieces. So 65 um, is what I will be charging. Might even do 75 a set. Um, what you guys think? Leave it in the comments what you think I should charge for the complete set. It's a five piece set. It uses 40 ounces of resin total to complete this. That's what we have used for this project. And 40, 40, 40 <laughs> ounces. That's a big pour. That's a big pour. Five, five items. So you get the tissue box, the brush holder, the lotion dispenser, the light up tray, trinket box, 75, yeah. So she got a steel. That was a Black Friday steel. And that's how I'ma leave it. Cause I won't do, 65 will be my, uh, will be my base. I won't cut no more deals. I want 75, but I'll let them go for 65 for the set. That's about as much of a deal as I can can do. But you guys let me know what you will charge for the set. I'm gonna let this sit up a little bit so I can keep an eye on it while I get prepared to move on. And then I'll come back and show y'all the finished projects, the finished product. It is going to be gorgeous. I believe that, okay? So, sit tight. We'll come back and demo. okay? Hit that subscribe button below and some thumbs up. Oh, just a little look. Y'all see that? I did my nails. Yeah. Okay, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe below. Notification bell above. And I'll catch you when we get done. I'll come back and show you the demode and the finished product. All right. Hi, guys. We are back with all of our items. They are cured and ready to be demoled. And so that's what we are going to do right now. Okay. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. Hit that subscribe button. Give me some thumbs up okay some thumbs up and go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content y'all i am so excited to demo this so we're gonna go ahead and get started i'm not gonna hold you here's the top two the little square lotion holder or pump or whatever you want to call it that's the top she wants silver so that'll have a silver um backing this will be the first <laughs> first piece with the pink so we gonna see how this um come out i am super excited guys so i am going to slowly roll this up so that we can see how it turned out hopefully my idea came to light it looks like we got a winner oh guys this is so pretty oh that is so pretty that is so pretty and then that's going to sit on top and oh my goodness y'all do y'all see this if pink is your color 
if pink is your color y'all look at that 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 is gorgeous i'm gonna bring it close y'all see that y'all see that oh my goodness look at that yep and i'm gonna go ahead and take off where is my little tool that where's my tool where's my tool where's my tool okay while i look for that because I know it's somewhere close on this table. <clears throat> Got it. Because, um, again, I, it's real sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and try to debris some of these ends off if I can. And I might have to file it. Yeah, I might have to file it. Now that's a little bit. And I think because I did not fill this all the way up, okay, that side did real good. And sometimes it'll be easy to do, and sometimes it won't. Still smooth as out there. It made it a lot better so I can hold it and not cut myself all right so that is that that is the lotion dispenser and I'm gonna glue the top on to that so we'll go with our little trinket jar and I know that I'm hoping this came out as pretty it looked like it did <clears throat> y'all this is gonna be so pretty i can't wait to set it all together oh, uh -oh. oh that is so gorgeous y'all that came out pretty now i would have liked to have had a clear top but because i forgot to pour it when i had the clear i went ahead and made the pink top instead which came out nice and that's open oh, and that's still pretty there we go and that's still pretty i like that okay so that's that got the little uh trinket the uh, case then we're gonna do the tissue box top I'll take the center out and then this this has a lot of debris so to file that because it's <clears throat> it's a lot so I have my trusty little file here to just kind of smooth that out and that's because you put that insert there. So you're going to have the debris right there on a tissue box. 
and that's okay. That's a, 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 a real simple fix, as you see. Take it along there. And that's it. So that's our top. Oh, y'all, that is looking so nice. So nice. It's still sharp along the edges. And sometimes this just goes so easy. And then sometimes it just give you a hard time. But it smooths all that out. So you don't have those sharp edges. And you can hold your piece. Without cutting yourself. Or the customer being cut. And I'll go back and I'll file the corners. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. And that's because that's a nice and this is just the other side where the the little insert was that comes with it so you can make the top with insert or without I like to do the tissue box. I was using this for my domino boxes at first, but then they came out with the domino mold box, and so they made I uh, found the insert that made it a tissue box, and yeah, I ordered it. Same mold. It just had an insert, and so it's like, oh, okay. And then I'll fill that with resin to smooth that out. That was a nice little bubble. I didn't see that. but And then I can rub my fingers around it, make sure that it is nice and, and smooth. And that's our top. So see, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that because that's going to sit right on top and that'll be seen, but that's okay. We can fix it. Not a biggie. All right, so we come in with our, and then I'll show y'all how to, how to do that too. Um, how I'm going to fix it once I glue, get ready to glue the top. I'm going to use UV resin and fill it. Brush it down nice and smooth. Okay, there we go. Now we got all four corners. Again, making sure you are careful because the ends are sharp. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. And so that is going to be the box. That's the box. All right. I'm gonna have to get the ends off of this because it's sharp. And I just like to knock most of it off right away. So I'll see what all I need to repair. Okay. 
Looks like this little corner. Alrighty. Tissue box. Guess we can go ahead and do the tray. Let's get this on out of here. so so pleased with this oh my goodness i am so pleased with this this came out so beautiful i'm going to spray this either um with the rose gold pink or sort Is what we have so far put everything together I wish I would have done this in a pink the top but it's gonna be okay let's get this little brush holder out now this is the first time that I poured this little guy I got um something else coming that I'm gonna add that should match this Cause I'm not gonna do this set. I mean, I would if someone asked specifically for the five piece set, but that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Y'all see this? <laughs> this is everything. Every, every, everything, everything, everything to me. Gotta do another one. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? Okay. Let's check the lights. Let's see. Uh yeah, we popping. We we popping. We we popping. Okay, 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 okay. So what did I say I needed to do? I needed to repair this. We're gonna repair this real quick. We're going to put this on real quick. So let's get prepared to do that. I have my little resin light here. We're going to plug it up. We gotta use that again. And she got the Black Friday discount. Like, yeah. This is so beautiful. OMG. Like, it's gorgeous. Okay. Stay. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna take my UV resin and I'm gonna line right close to the edge around the top of the holder 
So you can either use this as a as a pencil holder or whatnot without the top. Without the top, or you can just um, use it with the top and make it into the um, lotion dispenser, soap dispenser, whatever you want to use it for, uh, sanitizer dispenser. A soap conditioner you can do a um, shampoo condition set I'm gonna set that right on top level it out let's look like it's even okay there we go and light it up Y'all, this is so pretty. sure that it's good and sturdy This is so pretty, guys. I really, really love this. I'm sitting here. I know it's taking up a few minutes, but it's going to be okay. We're almost there. Just showing y'all how to um, put everything together. And how to do this little small, it's a small repair here. Okay, I think we're good to go. We are good to go. Put my little top in there. Screw that on. Make sure it's screwing on. Make sure everything is good to go. Alright, y'all see that? Real cute. Real cute. So I will arrange it. Okay, now the repair. Let's do the repair real quick. Just, I'm just going to sand it down just a little bit. Take this UV and I'm gonna fill this bubble in. Okay. 
and as you can see it looks like it's not even there but if you look at it from an angle or if you feel across it you will be able to feel it so that's what i'm doing right now is i'm smoothing it so that it looks and feels like it belongs there and it's not sticking up okay and I'm gonna hit it with the light So you have to be really, really, you have to watch it, you know, a little bit longer. Y'all, this came out so gorgeous. I'm going, yeah, I got to spray paint my little tab with for the light switch because I don't want that to be white. I'm either going to make that silver or I think I got some rose gold um, spray paint that I could use, even though this is more like a pink glitter. Um yeah I'm, I'm i would like to use something glittery or something soft maybe or even a silver if i don't have um my rose gold then i'll probably do like a silver but this is so pretty i know she gonna love it So now I can touch it. I'm gonna do it one more time, make sure it cures good. And this is looking like it's never been there. Y'all can see it while I'm wiping this part up. Okay. Okay, so now what I can do is smooth it all the way out nice and smooth, taking all the bumps out because it's been filled, and then just brush over top. with some epoxy when I um, pour another another uh, another mold I can just brush right over that and then at a and see it's it's pretty much not even there all I have to do is take a little bit of the epoxy and brush over it and let it sit and it'll be just as shiny and it wouldn't even know that it was even there probably need to buff and buff it down just a little bit more right there like 
finish. Maybe if I come from a different angle, I can get that little bit what I'm seeing out the way. a little bit of flash up in there. Alrighty. Uh-oh, a complete set. Complete set. What y'all think? Yeah? Alright. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified and when we do new videos and whatnot. But there you have it, nice and pretty. All right, see you on the next one.